All right, so in this problem, I have 3 to the power of x plus 3 to the power of x is equal to 12. So obviously, I want to find the value of x here. So for my solution, I'm going to first start by rewriting my equation here. So I get 3 to the power of x plus 3 to the power of x is equal to 12. And now, on my left hand side, I'm going to go ahead and factor out 3 to the power of x. So now I get 3 to the power of x times 1 plus 1 is equal to 12. And 1 plus 1, that's equal to 2. So I get 3 to the power of x times 2 is equal to 12. Now from here, I'm going to divide both sides by 2. So when these two cancel out, and I get 3 to the power of x is equal to 6. Now if we plug in x equals 1, we get 3 to the power of 1, which is equal to 3. And if we plug in x equals 2, we get 3 to the power of 2, which is equal to 9. So we know that the value of x has to be somewhere in between 1 and 2, because 6 is between 3 and 9, meaning that x is going to be a decimal value. So to find the exact value of x, we're going to have to use logarithms. So if I take the log on both sides, I get log 3 to the power of x is equal to log 6. And there are actually three important logarithmic properties that you guys should know. So the first one is that if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front. So this is going to equal b times log a. The second one that you guys should know is that if I have something in the form log of a times b, this is going to equal log a plus log b. And finally, if I have something in the form log of a over b, this is going to equal log a minus log b. So we have log 3 to the power of x equals log 6. And we can use our first property here, log a to the power of b is equal to b times log a. So I can move x to the front, and I get x times log 3 is equal to log 6. Now from here, I can we want to isolate x, so I can divide both sides by log 3. So then these two cancel out, and I get x is equal to log 6 over log 3. Now, I'm going to rewrite 6 as 3 times 2. So I get log 3 times 2 over log 3. And remember, now we can use our second property, log a times b is equal to log a plus log b. So log 3 times 2, that's going to equal log of 3 plus log 2. And I have this over log 3. I can rewrite this as log 3 over log 3 plus log 2 over log 3. Now, log 3 and log 3, these two cancel out, so I get x is equal to 1 plus log, three, or log 2 over log 3. And log 2, that's equal to 0 0.301, and 
And now I have this over 0 0.4771. So this is going to equal 1 plus 0 0.6309. And 1 plus 0 0.6309 is 1.6309. So this is my answer. Now I actually have a second method of solving this problem. So My equation was 3 to the power of x plus 3 to the power of x is equal to 12. And I'm going to start, like I started with the first method, by factoring out 3 to the power of x for my left-hand side. So I get 3 to the power of x times 1 plus 1 is equal to 12. Now, again, I'm going to solve what's in my parentheses. 1 plus 1 is 2. So I get 3 to the power of x times 2 is equal to 12. And again, I'm going to divide both sides by 2. So I get 3 to the power of x is equal to 6. Now, remember from I got x is equal to 1.6309. Now I'm going to plug this in. to my 4x. So I get 3 to the power of 1.6309 plus 3 to the power of 1.6309 is equal to 12. And 3 to the power of 1.6309 is 5.9998. And if I add these two together, I get approximately 12. So I get 12 equals 12, and because this is right, I know my solution is right. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna solve the equation four to the power of x is equal to x to the power of eight. So to solve this, I'm gonna first start by taking the power of one over eight x on both sides. Now from here, I get 4 to the power of 1 over 8, because these two cancel out, is equal to x to the power of 1 over x, because these two 8s cancel out. Now this is the same thing as 4 to the power of 2 times 1 over 16. And I can rewrite this as 4 squared to the power of 1 over 16 is equal to x to the power of 1 over x, and 4 squared is 16, so I get 16 to the power of 1 over 16 is equal to x to the power of 1 over x, meaning x is equal to 16.